Ilkeston took a break from league action this week with a trip to Kidsgrove Athletic in the Integro Dutton League Cup quarter final. The prize for the winners of these two teams was a trip to Scarborough in the semi final. Andy Watson making a couple of changes to his side, with Luke Shaw dropping to the bench after suffering from a sickness bug for the last couple of days, and Roy Lee being promoted from the academy to the starting 11. Ilkeston came closest to taking an early lead when Danny Ludo muscled Ashley Hodgkinson out of the way before unleashing a fierce 25 yard shot which smashed against the crossbar. Hayden Goddard then found himself in space just outside the penalty area, but his shot taken to deflection off Danny Smith and straight into the hands of Kidsgrove goalkeeper Harry Pickering. Kidsgrove were unfortunate to find themselves with 11 men still on the pitch. After Hodgkinson's late challenge on Michael Williams left him on the floor. Luckily for Kidsgrove though, the referee had deemed it nothing more than a yellow card offence. Jamie Hannis was then called into action twice in quick succession. First a point bank save from number seven, Anthony Melbourne. And then this next shot from the edge of the six yard area from Nick Willacombe. Yeah, that's what it's on. Ilkeson would then take the lead. After this pass from Michael Williams found Daniel Ludo on the left hand side. Daniel Ludo showed some quick footwork to the Kidsgrove defence, slotted a ball into the box and it was a simple tap in for Lewis Rose to score his first goal for Ilkeston and put them 1-0 up on the night. Michael Williams then had the chance to double Ilkeston's advantage. A wide pass out by Danny Gordon found Michael Williams on the edge of the area. He cut inside, hit a shot, but it was just over the bar. Roy Lee then had his first chance of the night. Danny Ludo here in the middle of the park slid a ball through into the penalty area. Roy Lee shot from just outside the six-yard area was well saved at the near goalkeeper's near post. Hannes was then called into action again, having to dive at the feet of a kid's grow forward, but being fouled in the process. Lewis Rose and Daniel Udo then combined well in midfield. Roy Lee's shot seen Pickering in the Kidsgrove goal scrabbling to his left to save it. The start of the second half would see Kidsgrove start to put some pressure on Ilkeston. Jamie Hannis having to save point blank again from the feet of Nick Willicombe. This point in the game saw Kidsgrove starting to get on top in the game. Anton Melbourne found himself free inside the penalty area, but again Jamie Hannis doing well to save from short range. After some dogged work by Curtis Burrows and Roy Lee in the midfield, a Kidsgrove clearance was ricocheted back into the path of Daniel Udo, with the keeper coming out to save well at Daniel's feet. Ilkeston would then double their lead. Some good footwork inside the penalty area by Aidan Print saw the ball fall to Michael Williams, whose cross was met by Daniel Udo. He composed himself and just slotted it in past the keeper's near post. Ilkeston then had a chance to go 3-0 up. A surge and run by Lewis Rose on the left-hand side found substitute David Jones in the middle of the penalty area, but the ball was just behind him and David couldn't get any power to the shot. Michael Williams then found himself in space and all on his own in the penalty area. Rather than shoot though, he was selfishly passed the ball over to David Jones. Hodgkinson got to the ball first and Pickering smothered David Jones' shot. Jones then had a second chance, but again, Pickering rushed off his line and saved at the feet of David. Jamie Hannis would be called into action one last time before the end of the game. Here he had to save from the feet of Nick Wellicombe at close range.
this victory in the Integra Dutton League Cup quarter final sees Ilkeston now take on Scarborough Athletic away on Tuesday the 22nd of March. They return to league action on Saturday with a home game against Hales Owen Town at the New Manor Ground, kick off 3pm, and they'll be hoping to avenge their 2-0 defeat at Hales Owen just two weeks previously.